find the electric field a distance z above the midpoint of two equal charges q a distant z apart okay so we have two equal charges which are separated by a distant z and we want to we wish to find the electric field midpoint between them so we start by drawing our diagram So let's indicate the two charges. So we have Q1 and the other charges over here. So they have the same magnitude from the question. Okay, so midpoint between them should be somewhere in the middle here. So we draw our straight line up. Okay, so we are told that the distance between these two charges is D, okay? And if we take this straight line as our x axis, then we can see that um, the x axis has the positive side and the negative side. So we can see that this side is a positive x axis. So we can write this side to be d over 2. So from the middle to this charge should be half of the length. The total length is d. So the middle to this charge should be d over 2. Then this side should be minus d over 2. The minus sign is here because we are taking this side as the negative x axis, okay? So minus d over 2. All right, now we are told that the electric, we, we wish to find the electric field midpoint between these two charges, but at a distance z above, okay? Z is the distance, midpoint up, okay? All right, so now, this charge over here is exerting an electric field that to move in this direction okay so the direction of the electric field as um the direction of the electric field that this charge was it will move in this direction so this is the arrow showing the direction of the electric field Similarly, this side to was it an electric field that will move in that direction. So we can draw a line to indicate that. Okay, so this is the direction of the electric field. So now let's denote the electric field with E. So this is the electric field in this direction and the same electric field in this direction. All right, now this vertical line let's suppose that this vertical line is our z so our z axis okay so this vertical line is our z axis then we can see that this electric field would have two components so the x component and the z component so resolving that we would have this diagram so one electric field is in the so this electric field, the component, so the x component, that is in this direction, so ex. Then we have the z component, that will move up. So we have ez. Okay, so similarly, we can do the same for this side. So this electric field has a horizontal component over here, so ex. So the arrow is showing the direction of the electric field. So it is moving in the negative x direction. And over here, this arrow is moving in the positive x direction. Now we also have the z component that is moving up. So easy over here, we didn't show the arrow. So it's moving up. The same for this one too. So this is also moving up. Okay. So now we, we want to use geometry to analyze this problem. So if we defined an angle theta over here, then this theta is vertically opposite to this side. So we can see that the angle here is theta. All right, now this line, this line is parallel to the Z axis, okay? And looking at the Z movement, we can see that the angle over here is alternate to this angle. So we can have the angle here to be theta, okay? Now, because these two right angle triangles, they have the same dimensions, it means that their angles too are the same. So if the angle here is theta, then the angle here should also be theta. All right, now this theta here is vertically opposite to this side. So you can see that theta is also here. Then 
this z axis is also parallel to this line so we can see that the angle over here is also theta okay all right so now um what we are going to do is that we are going to add the electric field we are going to add the vertical electric fields and the horizontal electric fields together okay so adding adding the so adding the electric field in the horizontal component or adding the horizontal component electric field up we see that we see that the electric the electric field the electric field uh, sum up to zero okay so the horizontal components of our electric field add up to zero and the reason is because they are moving in opposite direction this is the this electric field is to the positive x axis and this one is to the negative x axis so they cancel out so it means that our net electric field is only in the z direction so we can say that so the net in the z direction okay so we have only the z component of the electric field so we can say that e z is equal to our electric field so e cosine of theta times 2 okay so we are having cosine of theta here and the reason is because if we take this small triangle if we take this small triangle and we define cosine of theta you realize that it is going to be this is the angle the angle is facing this side so this is the opposite and this is the adjacent okay and this is our hypotenuse so because theta is going to be the adjacent side which is easy over our hypotenuse which is e so we have easy is equal to e cosine of theta okay so that accounts for um easy being equal to e cosine of theta now the two over here is here because we added the vertical component of the electric field and this this side of the um, this side of the vertical electric field added to this side so we get two okay this side plus this side so we get two so that accounts for the two so we can proceed to do our calculation so easy is equal to 2e cosine of theta now considering this big triangle this big triangle here when we define cosine of theta we realize that so let the hypotenuse of this big triangle be equal to r okay then z is this side this side is z so this z is for this side so we can say that cos theta is going to be z on r so our ez will be equal to 2 e then in place of cos theta we have z over r okay now let's write uh, our electric field for it we know that our electric field e over here e is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over r squared where 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant and the charge over here is q okay and the distance r is a separation distance okay so we can fix this expression over here we can fix it back here so easy will be equal to 2 times our electric field which is this e over here so we have 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught so q over r squared then times our z on r 
So simplifying this, E Z goes to. So you have two Q Z over four pi epsilon naught. So R becomes R to the power three. Okay. Now this R over here is actually the hypotenuse of this triangle. The hypotenuse of this triangle. So we can see that R is equal to so by Pythagoras theorem, we can say that r is equal to square root of z squared plus d over 2 all squared. Okay, now this thing can be written as r is equal to into bracket z squared plus d on 2 squared. So all to the power half. All right, so we fix r into this equation that we found. So EZ will be equal to 2 KZ, all this over 4 pi epsilon naught. Then R is to the power 3 over here. And over here it is to the power three, uh, 1 over 2. Okay. So if you multiply them, we get 3 over 2. So we can write this as, we can write this as Z squared plus D over 2 squared so all to the power three on two okay so field so this is our final answer and that is it